All right. Well, in part one of this video, I uh, I left it on the September 26, 2012, when Tom Osborne retired, and it all had to do with the statue at Memorial Stadium. Um, him and uh, Brooke Berenger were on the the statue that's outside of the stadium, and uh, Tom Osborne became the head coach in '73, same year that Brooke Berenger was born, the same year that the World Trade Center was um, started construction. But I forgot to mention, Brooke Berenger adds up to 157 and also uh, 85, so significant. But Tom Osborne in Gematria also adds up to 157, so 157, 157. He also adds to 49, another significant number we've talked about. September 23rd is the mere day of 49 even. Um, but... This 157, like I said, it adds up, 157 even adds up to 239. So anyway, anyway, let's go back here. I just wanted to point that out, that they uh, both added up to the same thing, which pretty interesting, they would be put on a statue um, outside, and I mean, Brooke Berenger, whoop de doo barely even, you know, he wasn't that big in Nebraska anyway, other than like one season, so really seems weird, It's I mean, only because he died or whatever that they would put him on the statue, or because of the numbers. But uh, anyway, so Tom Osborne, September 26, 2012, is when he re uh, announced his retirement as pretty much from Nebraska, so athletic director. Um, but Nebraska's next home game, which will be, if it sells out, will be their 343rd, and all this 34-43 coding around Abe Lincoln, and it's Lincoln, Nebraska. But... Their next home game will be on 926, the same day that he retired. But 926, um, Pope Francis will also still be in the United States. But 926 is also the 269th day of the year. And in other countries, they also write the date like that, 269. So 269 and then the 269th day of the year. Even in Gematria, September 23rd adds up to 269 so a definite big time foreshadowing um, makes me wonder about this game so what I did was I looked up uh, this team here so anyway I mean it's not going into the Nebraska game but look points per game 34 even says their last five games so the two this season uh, the first game they won, or they lost, with thir by the other team scored 34. And then last week, or this week, whatever you want to call it, they won 52-6. to six. Both interesting numbers. Anyway, um, just looked up a few more uh, things about Southern Miss Golden Eagles. So, uh, they play in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, which is on the 89 degrees west. So, that's all about Queen Elizabeth. We've talked about 89 like crazy. Um, 8-9 is the 221st day, 2-21 is the 52nd day, there's 144 left on 8-9, just tons of stuff, but uh, it was founded by this guy, William H. Hardy, who actually was born on the same day as Abraham Lincoln, just uh, 28 years later, but uh, anyway, let's go back here, the coach of this team is Todd Monkin. He's 49 years old. We talked about that a lot. Even from Wheaton, Illinois, which is on the 88th degrees. So, interesting. Uh, let's check out his name in Gematria. Todd Monkin, 43. Also, uh, their mascot is Seymour DeCampus. It's supposed to be a play on the, uh, like, Seymour of the campus. But I check out his name in Gematria, Seymour DeCampus. Seymour D. Campus, 58. And now that I'm thinking about it, um, forgot to mention all this 58 stuff. And with the September 26th, um, 8 5 to September 26th just so happens to be 52 days. And keep in mind, all the stuff that adds up to 239, um, 239 is the 52nd prime. It's also the amount of years that the United States has been in existence. Also, um, plutonium was called 49 during the Manhattan Project, but it's also plutonium 239. 
So anyway, I just typed in the team's name as well. And I mean, this doesn't necessarily mean destruction or anything like that. These numbers have been literally coded in every sports event this year. I swear, any big story in sports event from from baseball to uh, basketball to WWE to uh, UFC to, I mean, everything. NFL, The um, when Geno Smith uh, got punched or whatever. The Emenkin Polly dude or whatever, his name even added up to 52 and 106. But um, Southern Miss Golden Eagles and Pythagorean Gematria is 106. Just Golden Eagles and Pythagorean is 52. Golden Eagles and regular, 106. So the 106 and the 52, and they just so happen to play in Nebraska on their 343rd probably sellout game. So... Pretty interesting. But um, when I think of destruction, I mean, hopefully that's not the case. But I think of I think of the nuclear power plant that is about an hour away from uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Probably close to an hour, 50 minutes or so away from where I live. But it's in Fort Calhoun. 133. 13-3, like Pope Francis, the day Pope Francis became the Pope. Also in Pythagorean, 52. That's a very, very, like, uh, uncomforting thought or whatever you want to say. And I guess it's called a nuclear generating station. So a nuclear power plant. But nuclear generating station in Gematria is 110. And that's, the World Trade Center stuff was all about the number 110. So, pretty interesting. Um, this place even, look when it opened, commissioned, 8-9 of 1973. Like I said, the Tom Osborne stuff, the Brooke Berenger, 8-9 is all about the Queen. We've talked about 8-9 and 144 and the, how it connects to 52 even. Um, so, interesting. Even says, the plant has one combustion engineering pressurized water reactor Generating 484 megawatts of electricity. 4884. Talked about this so many times with uh, dealing with Obama. The 1984, the book came out, uh, or whatever, 1984. It was. It started on the day 4 4, and 44 adds up to 144. And then also, man, there's so much to remember. I'm sorry. Um, April 4th adds up to 144 as well, kind of like 4-4. Four, four. There's even other things. I just can't remember it off the top of my head. Um, I'm getting tired, but there's so much to this. It's so ridiculous. I've covered it for a long time now, so just pointing that out. Um, even construction began 49 years ago even, so. I mean, who knows? Who, maybe nothing will happen. Hopefully not. Um, you know, but when there's all the 239 coding... And then September 23rd even adds up to the the same number, like 926 or, or whatever. It adds up to 269, which is the same day that uh, Nebraska plays and whatnot. And the Pope's in town. There are Pope's in the United States. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I might take a drive east. <laughs> like, I know that sounds bad, but that day, I don't know. That just makes me really wonder. And especially, you know, because of the plutonium. They've mentioned plutonium and whatnot in Back to the Future, the plutonium uh, 239. And I kind of did a little, a little more research into uh, plutonium. And uh, plutonium in Gematria is 42 and 141. But also the word 21 is 141 and 42, the same as plutonium. And we've talked about 21. Uh, like I said, it's they've been foreshadowing 12 and 21 in these Nebraska football games, but also 21, uh, 2 1 was the same day that the Super Bowl was, and also there on 2 1 there's 333 days left until the end of the year. I've talked about that with Philadelphia because this year on the same day of the last day of Back to the Future, October 27th, um, Philadelphia will be 333 years old. Also. That is 33 days before the 333rd day of the year on November 29th. So since it's all about the 239, plutonium 239, I just typed in plutonium 239. 
Look what it comes up to, 154 and 415. Abe Lincoln died on 415. Also, 154. Plutonium 239. I mean, crazy. And uh, actually, I forgot to mention this before, but this is actually what made me what made me think of the nuclear power plant to begin with. Because when I seen the Abe Lincoln days, and I've been talking about Lincoln, Nebraska, and then I thought, man, there is a nuclear power plant that's like pretty close to Nebraska or Lincoln. Anyway, this is the place that um, was the where plutonium was created or whatever, and it is on 43 degrees north, significant. 113 degrees west, and I just talked about the Nebraska streak that started um, for the most sellout game or consecutive sellout games. It was on 11-3 of 1962. And uh, actually, I think I said that it was the first. I think I said that it uh, just made plutonium or something. I can't remember. I didn't. Whatever. I just read it wrong. But um, it says besides generating the world's first electricity from atomic energy. EBR-1, also the world's first breeder reactor, and the first to use plutonium fuel to generate electricity. So that's what it is significant for. They use plutonium to generate electricity. Which makes me wonder, maybe not so much of destruction, but maybe it's just going to, they're going to do something that's going to cause a big blackout or something with electricity. And they have foreshadowed blackout like crazy, so... Um, even that one commercial where they had blackout up on the wall or whatever. But, uh, it even talks about here how there was a, uh, November 29th, 1955, it, it suffered a partial meltdown. That is the 333rd day of the year in 1955. It, like, that's a Back to the Future day, whatever, or number. Um, so, interesting that they would have a partial meltdown then. And then it's the first... Breeder reactor to use plutonium to fuel or generate electricity. Also, look at the day it was added to the uh, National Historic, whatever it is. Um, it was designated on 1221, but then added on October 15th, 1966. Very interesting day because this year will be the 89th Catholic World Mission Day. So just pull up an article to prove it to you. 15th of October, 2015. The 89th World Mission Day. But when you think of World Mission Day, WMD, just like weapons of mass destruction, you know? Are you kidding me? That's, that's some crazy stuff. And the reason why is because it's 49 years ago. Otherwise it wouldn't seem so significant, but 49 has just been foreshadowed so many times that that's why I think it's very significant. It's also the day when the Gregorian calendar began. It, the Julian calendar ended on October 4th, um, 433, will be 433 years ago. And then the Gregorian calendar started, uh, they skipped a bunch of days and it started on October 15th. Um, I just typed in 89th Catholic World Mission Day in Dramatria. And Pythagorean Dramatria is 176. That number ties into the Queen and Back to the Future. I talked about it in previous videos. And then just Catholic World Mission Day, 109 and 271. I talked about this in the, the last previous videos too, last couple of videos. But 271, hit the 271st day is um, September 28th, the day of the final blood moon of the Tetrad. So, interesting. This place is also called Experimental Breeder Reactor 1, or that's what it was, that's what it's called, The not really the place, but anyway, look at that in Gematria. 144 and 288. Well, the 288th day is October 15th, the same day as the World Catholic Mission Day, the 89th one. The Queen is 89, 89 is even the, uh, there's 144 days left, so. Just super interesting. Even uh, Abe Lincoln's, people call him Honest Abe, Honest Abe, 89. Abe Lincoln's even on the $5 bill, 139 just like Freemasonry. And one last thing here, so Bo Pelini was the coach last year. He got fired on the 334th day of the year, and then they gave this guy the job, Barney Cotton, haha, <laughs> get it? But 
He was 58 years old at the time. So anyway, have a good night.